Packing, packing, packing. Nice and neat. Yep, that's me all sorted. There's my plane. We're flying EVA Airways today. It's Taiwan's national carrier, but less well known in New Zealand. Ah, yep, all fueled up. Baggage is on. Most importantly, the food's on board. The flight to Taipei is 12 hours, no stops, but EVA Airways reckon they've got a little surprise for me. Quite excited about going to Taipei, but at this point in time I always get a little bit nervous because this is where my wheelchair gets taken off me and I'm stuck. But not today. And you want to know why? We contacted EVA Airways when we learnt we were heading to Taipei. We wanted advice about the city's accessibility. Hello. Hi, welcome Warren. All these ladies for me. <laughs> the airline wanted to prove that consideration of disabled travellers begins right here. It's nice and comfy. Hi, um, Curtis, this is a, uh, let me show you. Backing up. I'm going to show you um, the laboratory. Great. Designed, you know? Wow. So, to meet the comfort and convenience of uh, our um, for wheelchair passengers. You can see this is a very spacious laboratory for any aircraft, right? And then uh, for this door, this is a this is a by folding door. Just need a simple push. Mm. A small space to open. Yeah, okay. So this will ensure you have a wider entry and safe entry. So Grace, if I need assistance, this chair stays on board. Yes, actually. And if and if I need to go to the toilet, I just ring my button right, and exactly. Our highly trained flight attendant will more than happy to help you. So isn't that interesting? Some airlines insist it can't be done. Too expensive. They'd have to sacrifice seats. But Eric Lee explained that the disabled toilet on this plane only required an extra 300 millimetres of space. It was the airline's own idea to fit the disabled toilet. Their new Boeing 777s are all fitted with three disabled toilets on board. Eric, what's EVA Airlines policy on putting in a disabled toilet? Um, pretty much because now these days there is a lot of people with disabilities and um, there are increasing number of people wish to travel and this is a good facility to cater that needs um, for our passengers and also with the increased awareness of um, people with special needs these days. Was it hard to put a toilet in? Like, What sort of issues did you have? Um, Probably just ask Airbus to do them and install them in the way we wanted to. Um, basically it's just taking a bit more spaces, pretty much 60 inches in length um, compared to your normal toilet, it's about 36. So you didn't have to take out any seats, you didn't you know, have to make any huge changes, did you? Um, actually a little bit, yes, as you can see because with the sizes that, that you do have to sacrifice a little bit of spaces. But generally, it's pretty good. It works out well, and especially with um, today, we had five wheelchairs on board. Things like facilities like this would help. And really, in this business space, is literally money. Um, but I think this is a good, good thing to do, um, and also um, be able to to service our passenger a little better. With my personal comfort taken care of, I settled down to be transported to Taiwan.